Welcome back to Vice Grip Garage. We're here at Bradenton Motorsports Park. We made it to the second annual Danger Ranger 9000. You might recognize that gem. It is back. We rolled it over. It's better than ever. And we're here to race with about 50 other Ford Rangers. This is going to be awesome. I heard there's some, there's some turp skis. Hey, thank you to Athletic Greens for sponsoring another video. You guys have heard me talk about AG1 by Athletic Greens several times now. I'm still using the product. It's still seeing the benefits, energy, clarity, performance and recovery, digestive health, and more. Something else I'm starting to notice, as you guys know, I'm on the road a lot and it is almost impossible to keep a healthy diet, either through temptation or just, well, not starving to death. Guys putting down too many fried steaks and chickens, but let me tell you something. AG1 is not a greens powder. It's a nutritional drink packed full of 75 vitamins and minerals and whole food sourced items just about for anybody. And I've found by taking a drink in the late morning, early afternoon with a healthy snack like our fruit or vegetable, completely curbs my appetite, gives me a boost of energy, it gets me through the day. Handy little travel packets. All I gotta do is eight to 12 ounces of water and some sort of mixing device. Pour this in here, stir it, mix it, shake it, roll it. I don't know, you just blend it together is what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Down into my belly. So what are you waiting for? Head on over to athleticgreens.com forward slash vice grip to get started with your order. And Athletic Greens is gonna throw in one free year of vitamin D3 plus K2 and five free handy dandy travel packs. That's a really good deal. Now let's get back to the Ranger Danger 9000. So here's the deal, fellers. They changed the rules this year. Or at least that's what I was told. So I did the right thing and I didn't look at any of them. Not even remotely a clue. Apparently they were a little bit more lenient on engines and specifications and some other things or so I'm told. There's a 2021 Ford Ranger Turbo sitting right there. I heard there's an engine swap somewhere with the turbo key. Literally some aerodynamic modifications and some other performance factors. So I did the right thing and brought my Ranger that we rolled last year, did almost nothing to it, and we're just <laughs> we're just showing up. But this year's gonna be awesome. There's like 50 to 60 Rangers that are supposed to show up which is gonna push the Freedom Factory into making an A main and a B main. And what that is, is the A main is reserved for the faster drivers, the B main is reserved for the slower drivers, and they figure that out, of course, based on lap time. So you have basically two exciting main events. There's some Rangers out here running practice right now. We're gonna do the same, maybe five laps. Well, because my Ranger, after being unrolled, got pushed into a tree row. So we're gonna put some different tires on it, bring it out here and run some laps. Let's see what's going on out here. I heard some trucks ran 19s today. Yeah. Wow. Uh, let me check, I think it was like 19.2 is the fastest now. That's faster than a bit. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. There are some very fast trucks out here, fellas. 19.29. 19.29. That's like a second and a half faster than a Winner. He's running 19.8 so far. So, much faster this year. Yeah. Wow. This is great. Feels like it's been forever since we've been here, but it hasn't been that long. You feel the same way. Yeah. These guys are hauling. Not sure what James has got going on here, but I'm pretty positive the rule book doesn't specify you can't have a tree on the bed for additional weight uh, so here we go pretty nice chunk looking pretty good this must be the same yeah this is the same rig as last year I think I recognize that one so there are some fellers out here running the same rigs as last year but there's a lot of new faces out here let's get this thing unloaded get her on the ground and I'm gonna show you 
there are a couple changes we made. You know, like look at that, new windscreen. There's a lot more too, actually. So if you guys haven't seen it yet, I picked up this ramp truck, virtually sight unseen. It had sat for a handful of years, maybe a little bit more than that. Did some maintenance, threw the whole family in this thing in the truck, drove to Florida 800 miles. Well, I got the whole pit crew here and the truck. What do you think, Jessica? Was it easier hauling the truck or pulling a trailer? Oh, that's tough. Well, when we pull the, with a trailer, or pull a trailer, it's with a vehicle that's more reliable. A little bit faster. A little faster, yeah. but it's definitely more fun. Well, it's faster pulling a trailer, I guess, but as a driver, you got more stability yeah. doing it this way. Which is why in the olden days, this this was the go-to. All the dirt track guys, even the NASCAR guys, used a wedge trailer. Ooh, I smell clutch really bad. Whew, I don't know who that was, but my goodness gracious. Anyway, we're going to get this unstrapped, like I said. Um, this truck has a lot of different uh, strap points, and there's chains, and a bunch of storage under here. If you want to learn more about the truck, Go check out that video. It's somewhere in the playlist there, but we'll get these ramps pulled out and get struck off. So, Donnie and Chad for volunteer got me set up with uh, new dual exhaust straight pipes instead of the, there was cats and pre-mufflers and post-mufflers and all this stuff. That's gone. They did a bunch of work for me because I've just, as you fellers know, and fell out, been so busy on the revivals. I, that's the first time I've driven this truck in quite a while, if I'm being honest. Uh, inside has not changed other than a new window net. When I rolled this last time, I think my shoulder actually ripped through the net and hit the concrete. So we got a new one. She's up to date. We got belts that are up to date now. Same seat configuration. Radio's falling out, stuff like that. None of this stuff's been fixed. Shift light still doesn't work. All that stuff's kind of still broke. Let's get out of the hood. Nothing here has changed at all, other than we got a new rebuilt charging whirlers. Put in the other one. Well, it wasn't charging. Other stuff, we cut out the, uh, I don't know if you could tell, there was a condenser in here for the ACs of the system that was kind of smashed up and not really doing much hanging out here. So that got removed and basically got rid of some of the stuff that was blocking the airflow, but everything else is completely the same. It's 100% bone stock. I don't even know what this is. It's a four litre engine, something like that, I guess. Uh, the front end was extremely loose. Everything was like, about to fall off. They were pretty appalled I could even get her around a the track. They tightened all that back up, got everything snug, nut and bolt checked the thing, put some missing lug nuts back on it. We got a new windscreen. The cab, as you can see, did get, you know, she's, the whole cab is pushed over, unfortunately. It hurts my heart, but it's the way she is. Went ahead and put new glass in it, but we had to fill all of this full of silicon. And then it's tight here. See how this is out? So basically, this pillar just went ahead and did that on a guy. And then this side, you know, for safeties, we got the glass taped in. Well, there's basically the amount that it's kind of wrinkled over. This side's a Craigslist side. Looks fantastic, doesn't it? Uh, we're gonna be doing different tires this year. These D800s, they're a little too hard of a compound for a track like this. I was struggling to find the compound that I wanted. These are way too hard. They have too soft of a sidewall. There's not a lot of uh, bank in this track. So when these trucks understeer, which this truck's gonna do because there's no adjustment in the front end, it rolls the sidewall really bad so this year I'm gonna try to run these Nitto G2s right here and these are the same tire they run on the Crown Vicks for all the, the Vic races and man after Bristol 
I can tell you I am 3,942.7% believer in those G2s. 100 laps around Bristol, I think I made it 95 laps to the floor wide open. So we're gonna run those tires this hey, year, see what happens. Over here. No. Is some one grit? Uh, I mean, I think we can buff that out. Yeah. Not quite Maybe sure. Maybe Sam will get his buffer out for you. <laughs> there you go. That looks nice. <laughs> Bentley's getting the G2s mounted up on her. I gotta switch this around really quick. These are directional. Just gotta flip this around. Okay, we got the middle G2s on. I pretended to check the oil and stuff like that, you know. We're gonna jump in and uh, go do some practice laps. Whoa, look where my steering wheel is. Uh, uh, that's fine. We'll just, we'll pretend we didn't see any of that. Let's go take some laps, see what happens. This is Japanese something. I don't know if you could tell, but it's a right-hand drive. And what's confusing late in the guy is the stick shift is not right-hand, it's still left-hand, meaning the first is over here. See? Over here. How am I shifting this with okay? Well, anyway, he said take her for a rip. So that's what we're doing. Woo! Oh man. Take me a minute to get used to. This is going to be full of Rangers tomorrow. We're done practicing. Truck is what it is. Didn't get hot. Got the oil pressures. Boy, there's some serious fellers coming out for this race. I'll tell you what. This is so much better than a golf cart. Towards your knee and down. <laughs> All the way to the right and down. There you go. You normally just on the other side. Well, we're going to go catch a bite to eat, throw the old hooves up for a few hours. We'll be back bright and early tomorrow. We've got tech, we've got driver's meeting, we've got qualifying, and then we got to see, are we going to make the A main or are we going to fall to the B main? I usually, you know, say something like, why well, finishing would just be nice, and I'm being honest when I say that. Now it's more like a, you know, can a guy even get to the A main? Because we're not running, we're not running fast times in that truck, fellers. Let's just put it that way. And then, can a guy finish, you know, maybe they make a C main. And that's what, anyway, I'm just happy to be here. We're here to have fun. It's going to be a blast. We'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Good morning. Pulling back into the Freedom Factory. See the signs down up front. They just had that. Tropical store Ian. I am Ian? Ian. Ian come through here. Prayers whoever was affected by that. Looked like a doozy in some areas and others kind of came out unscathed. Other than the sign over here at BMP and the sign up front here at Freedom Factory, I think they did pretty good, but this place is already filling up with spectators. I've got a driver's meeting in like three minutes, so you know just right on time as usual and then we get to kind of knock around for a little bit last night we started getting a flashing engine light we got a random misfire and then i've got this check fuel thing i might run the truck in the town go to like a o'reilly or something like that and use the parts or the tools ob one kenobi scanner and see what it's telling us is wrong with the thing and see if we can even fix it Doubtful, very, but this is going to be fun. This is definitely already shaping up to be bigger than last year. You could definitely tell the fellers that are just here to have a little bit of fun, you know, and then 
some of these guys got like dang old NASCAR setups. Big old trailers and tents and tools everywhere and 42 different tires, which is great. I mean, they're here to win, you know what I mean? I'm glad that the Freedom Factory puts on events like this, keep the motorsports thing going. You get a lot of people involved, otherwise they maybe wouldn't even be out here, you know what I mean? So this is really cool. I'm gonna go wander around a little bit. I'm seeing a tree strapped in the back of James's truck. Got vehicles lined up everywhere. So, uh, we got tech inspection going on. I guess I gotta get the rig over here first. Look at the spoiler. That's uh, that looks like it's going through a front windshield. We'll pretend we didn't see that. I think this is cleats. He changed up his tires. Going a lot smaller. Instead of doing a gear change, you could just, you know, bring in the tires basically. A lot of guys run a really little tire. A couple things this morning. I don't think my temp gauge even works. It hasn't moved from yesterday, before or after the run. I just realized my fuel tank is full and it's all the same gas from, you know, a year ago. That's fine. Also, randomly, my power steering just started going dit, 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 and whining quite a bit. Hopefully, it's just low. I don't. I guess I never even looked at that. <laughs> Maybe we'll pop the hood, but it seemed fine yesterday. But today, all of a sudden, she's winding and grinding. This truck behind me, they're pushed up with a golf cart like NHRA. I just there's there's some there's some racers around here. You know what I mean? Is that a weed sprayer on a trailer? So yesterday, Clayt bent car, his yeah. door first, didn't he, or something yeah, like that? Yeah, well, he hit it within moments of being at the shop a couple of days back. And then yesterday, Don tells him to open the door and just tries to fold it backwards on him. <laughs> so the new Ranger has already sustained some damage. That's the new EcoBoost Turbos Ranger. Look what Chet did to Clayt's door, though. He flex sealed it shut. Flex seal. That stuff the, ain't coming off. Got that goodie on there. He's gonna have to remove the cab to get that tape off. Yeah, it ain't going nowhere. <laughs> Real nice. It's fun watching these guys go back and forth. Oh yeah. Well, we just finished uh, the driver's meeting, the tech inspection, we passed tech. The flying colors, because quite honestly, we have the most stock right here. The best news to come out of the driver's meeting is the palm tree is staying on James's truck, which is just, <laughs> I love it. They are gonna trim the edges down a little bit. Right here. And then uh, they're leaving this puppy on, which is gonna be out. It's kinda of like Mario Kart. Dodge the palm trees, you know what I mean? But she's got her strap down and I gotta do it, you know. Yeah. That ain't going nowhere, I don't think. Put your glasses on, dude. I'm just watching Jay's down here getting covered. You don't need to cut it It's got a mother thumper cam in it, matching trucks. A lot of trucks running the Hoosiers again this year. A uh, whole gaggle of them up there. But you can see how much camber he's got in this thing. See that tire? You really have to manage the front end if you're gonna run Hoosiers. Same with that truck up there. We didn't, you know, obviously do any of that, so we're gonna go with uh, the G2s, like I was saying. I got a spare. I borrowed this off of James's truck. It's flat. That's fine. But it's got plenty of tread. So I'm going to lay this here. And just in case we need it tonight. <laughs> Looks like we're going to be running one of the live feed cameras. Right up front and center of the rig here. This feller's working hard. There's a lot of doodabs and bit bops and the blue teeths and weefies. And I... Yeah, I don't even know how to run any of that stuff, but that's going in there. James has got one right up in here for some flappage, I think. And then, of course, Cleeter's going to have one as well. Tech line is getting down in there. Ooh, by the way, this is probably telling us what's going to happen to neighbor if you didn't see that tip in at Bristol. It's something to see. Looks like uh, might be doing a little bit of grafting, 
you know, some adult Legos and whatnot. Just Zeusing on the rear of this car on the neighbor, potentially. So yesterday, I ran like five or six laps in second gear in the truck, and that's right up to 6,000 RPM on the chip coming into the corner. And then I ran a few laps in third gear, which was like 3,000 to 5,500. It felt a little bit slower coming out of the corners, but it was definitely faster going into the corners. I actually had to just, just glaze the brake a little bit to set the truck and got our lap times from yesterday, and we actually ran the seventh fastest time, which is, I don't understand that at all. There's also a lot of trucks, keep in mind, Mountain Fellers, a lot of trucks that didn't run practice yesterday. But the ones that ran the fastest times are the winners from last year and all the other fast trucks. We ain't got the pickups to win, but we got a pickup to have a whole lot of fun in. So I'm gonna go out again today, change tire pressure up a little bit, we're gonna go run a few more laps in third since we know that's the fastest our truck runs. And uh, not a lot of laps, we wanna save the tires. Three, four laps, just get comfortable. Um, for qualifying, because we go straight into qualifying, it'd be nice to qualify in the A main because then I don't gotta run the truck twice. And clarification on that in the driver's meeting, there's gonna be 20 trucks in the B main. The top 10 then get to race in the A main. That's a lot of fun if you do get to race two races. The downside is, is the rig gonna make it? You know, that's running two mains and these trucks are on the rev limiter the whole time. So I'm kind of hoping we qualify good enough to maybe just squeak into the A main. We're in the big show, we can have some fun and then we can kind of hang out, meet the fans, do stuff like that. So we're gonna get the helmet on quick, go run some laps, I'll bring you guys with. Derek is getting ready to go out and do his practice laps right now. It's under steering, but I just want to get the truck straight as quick as I can. We might be here for a while. Sunroof is nice. Gotta get some fresh air in here, you know. But got the engine light cleared. It hasn't come back yet, so I don't know what that means. Guess we'll go park it up and wait for qualifying. All right, let's go check in with Derek. See how he thinks he did during practice. How do you think you did? Well, it was uh, it was good. It was a little bit better than yesterday. I dropped the tire pressure, you know, on the wheel on the left-hand side. It doesn't shudder as bad. In turn one and two, there's a bunch of patches, and then you get into there, and then you're, you know, <laughs> kind of just like that, basically. Um, I'm gonna see if I can get my times just so I can see how I ran today versus yesterday at practice to see what the tire pressure adjustment did. Not that it matters, because uh, we have full on race trucks here running like a second and a half faster. But it would be nice to hang in like the top 42, you know what I mean? It's fun though. Man, if you have a chance, you gotta get out to your local track, just do something. Hornet class, spectator drags, demolition derby, just do something. I'm hot, I gotta get out of here. So we noticed that the tread on the front tire is a little bit worse than the one in the rear. So we're just going to switch those around. Good job, buddy. Last year there was some traction bars on here. And I felt that was a kind of a gray area in the rules. And I had forgot about it, honestly. This year we took them off. I just, I want this truck as legit as possible. So... 
doesn't have those weird ladder bars on this year so get these bolted back up snugged and then we're gonna go watch the spectator drags I've seen a quite a few Corvettes a McLaren some other green alien spaceship looking thing it's gonna be a lot of fun right rear wheel cylinder is popped so that's great I'm gonna be losing brakes as we race well here's something interesting that noise is the tire rubbing the A-arm. So it turns out all the tires are rubbing. I've just never run this kind of wheel on this truck. So I am going to need some sort of spacer or this is not going to work. Uh, just on the fronts, I think. The rears are fine, obviously. So now we got to load up, try to find some spacers. We just missed it, but it sounds like Kevin hit the wall. Oh, yeah. Straight understeer, bam, right into the heat wave side. Ouch, he's okay though, so that's good. Oh yeah, he pancaked her hard, ouch. I'm just glad he's okay. Look at that fix. So fortunately, guys gotta run this little spec. I got the smallest one I could, 5 sixteenths. That should be enough to clear. This is, you can see where it was rubbing right there. So hopefully that'll get us clear and make this happen. Let's see. There. All right, go around the mall one more time, give them a couple of oogadoogas. We don't want that going nowhere, do we? Well, what I thought initially it might've been a wheel cylinder that popped, uh, pulled the drum off and it is just caked with gear oil. The bearing and seal is completely shot on this side. Yeah, so that's, that's more of a grinding job than a buffing job. <laughs> yeah. I don't have time to fix that. We'd have to pull the center section and get the pins and clippies and doodabs and polars and so I'm just going to uh, put the drum on and pretend I didn't see it. Yeah, that's about the only option left. <laughs> Great. Oh, yeah. I mean, it hurts really bad, but you don't need a cap on these fillers. Just dig the thumb cramps. Just get the juice. Get the juice out, you know. I know it's hard to see how much this is moving on the televisions. It's about a quarter of an inch. Oh, that's such a bummer. All right, buddy. Oh well, huh? Yep. All right, let's let this jack down and we'll work on the other side. Derek's getting ready to put the windshield banner on. Since he's so tall though, he has to put it on the bottom, otherwise... <laughs> I'm helping you, look at me right now. I think, I think if you just grab that side and I grab this side, I'll just splat it on. All right, who did it better? Derek did a really good job. You know what? I think it looks pretty good. Look at all the wrinkles. To be fair, it's not to made a ranger, okay? I mean, you can't even like... You can't look even see that. the wrinkle. Look at this. Okay. You can't, even... you can't even see the wrinkles. Good job. So in summary, we've got a random misfire that I can't track down. You know, way down on power. We've got a fuel cut issue, don't know what that is. Losing the power steering. The right drinker side tire, the rear tire, is about ready to come out of the truck. The uh, axle bearing and seal are completely shot, which means my brakes are also fading because of the goop getting on the shoes. But everything's fine. You know, I got a CD player in there and the sunroof opens. What else does a guy need? So, uh, I don't know. We set her on the ground. Qualifying is coming up. Just got to keep her on the chip, see what happens. I don't know. These trucks are making whistle noises. Barely saved her. We got a ZR1 versus a Tesla's. I 
think that's game over. It's so weird when the Tesla comes by, it's just wind going. Man, that thing's fast. We got an Evo thing versus uh, Donnie the Corvette. This is going to be interesting. I think that Evo thing is all wheel drives. even pulling away. I think the vet's got to really, really tree him to get close. Evo gave him a car leg. Okay, you got the Tesla spaceship plaid shirt thing versus the Zorro Robot 1 Corvettes. This is going to be interesting. I think the plaid is going to get the launch, but we might see the Corvette do the turn three and four again. Yep. Two. Oh, there we go, race two. Flat shirt out front. Blocking the bottom. Blocking them high. Blocking them low. Flat's got them. What they're doing here is they got to try to get that ball to either that side or this side of the burnout path. It's uh, Jack Stan, J.H. Cletus, and I didn't hear who else. I think George. J.H. already has a flat tire. The Rangers are lining up. They're going out in uh, groups of five. They're wrapped all the way around the building. I got kind of stuck in here a little bit. That's all right. Here comes qualifying.
cleaner to the hood. That's awesome. We made it, I think we qualified ninth out of everybody, uh, which is great because we can go straight to the A main and save the truck because this thing is getting, I remembered, I was saying, man, this thing is getting really loose around the corners. Oh yeah, the wheel's falling off. That's okay, that makes sense. So I'm just gonna have to get used to it very quickly, I guess, not much I can do there. Uh, number one qualifier, I guess this top secret track session or whatever he was calling it it was kevin ran an incredible time it was like an 18 9 or something it's like a second and a half faster than the entire field uh he actually bumped my bumper in qualifying and that's when i was like uh oh we're not running too hot here fellas so the top five trucks are blazing fast you got chet with the hybrid or whatever that thing is uh kevin i think um that McFarland guy, he's up in there. Pretty pretty quick group in the top 10. It's gonna get feisty out there. Uh, I'm just gonna let the truck sit. I ain't gonna touch it. I mean, there's really not much we can do. Relax, watch the B main, watch some activities, and some excitement here, and then we'll jump right into the A main and have some fun. Under the lights with no headlights. Perfect. Well, here we go. We actually sped up a little bit, fellers. Uh, 20.088. Oh, this feller beat us by two, what is that, thousands? I don't know. Pretty tight, but th thank you, man. This truck right here, what a show. Uh, he said he actually changed the rear gear and went to different size tires and did a calculation. Shocks, maybe. This thing is scoots. Fast truck. Very cool. Marlon Kevin's Flash Packer says performance tuner chip box. I guess this will clear the engine code too. Uh, so I'm gonna go clear that misfire again and hopefully that fuel thing. I don't still don't know what that is. And then we'll return it to him and B mains getting lined up. Yep.
unfortunately, we just had a rollover. I think this is that lady I was talking to right before the race, trying to give her a little advice. Slid to the right, overcorrected it a touch. It's easy to do. These are top heavy, and boom, right over it went. But they've got race seats, harnesses, cage. Hope they're okay. No word on the driver yet. There's a bunch of safety personnel there, just out of respect for them. I don't know the situation. I'm not going to film it. Uh, we hope they're okay. It looks like they're probably going to be fine. There's a ton of help there. Hate to see that, you know, when we're out here having fun, but it's part of the risk. Uh, luckily, they got a lot of safety rules here to run these trucks. So, um, let you know here soon. It was that young lady I was talking to. She's fine. Everything is good. Great news. She's actually laughing about it. She's uh, she does demolition uh, derbies and stuff like that. So. She probably didn't even get phased rolling over there. That's She could take a hit, I'll tell you that right now. Uh, they're rolling the truck over, cleaning the track. We'll be right back at it. Racing in the rain, this is hot. The main is finished. What a slip and slide. That was a lot of fun watching. Uh, whoever came with street tires had an advantage there. And all the people running slicks and Hoosiers, man, they had a ride out there. But pretty quick group, actually, in the rain. I ain't got no head lips. I don't know if the wipers work. We're going to find out here in a second. We got about 10 minutes. What is this? Okay. We're going to go out, get lined up. Uh, they did invert the field. What they did was they let Kevin, who was on the pole, draw a chip. And that chip, I guess, was a number seven. So first through seven are going to be inverted. So the seventh qualifier is now on pole. Uh, didn't affect us, we were in ninth. I think old cleats right in front of us. So this is gonna be, I don't know how aggressive everyone's gonna be, I guess. We could clear up the track, you know, if it just keeps sprinkling and doesn't get any heavier, you know, all the heat and the wind blowing, we could dry the track up fairly quick. But I think I'm just gonna try to tuck in behind somebody. We know we don't got the fastest truck here, but if I could just tuck in, Hang on, you know, till the end. Have some fun. That's what we're here for. All right, this is everybody lining up for the A main event. See Derek kind of over there. Right there. Getting ready to come out. I'll belt it in for the A main. This is going to be wild. It's going to be a lot of fun. Wipers kind of sort of work, not really. We'll run them. It's better than nothing. So right now they're just lining everybody up in the right order. Derek is officially ninth place qualified, so that is where he'll be starting. out the window right now is 
Well, guy did what he could with the truck we brought. We qualified ninth. We finished seventh, I believe. I just didn't have, these guys would just pull on me so hard in the straights. All I could do was play defense and kind of feel a little bit guilty about that, but it was still fun. There's a couple trucks that were just too fast. Um, 22, I don't know what, how that truck is built, but I blocked him for a couple laps. I was like, I just gotta let him go or I'm gonna stuff everybody up. Drew had a really fast truck. I mean, I finished up there with the guys that were running pretty crazy times, so I'm happy with that. It was a good night. Got saved on a caution. I think it was sideways when they pulled the red. Spun out, hit the grass. Got really lucky there, got my spot back. That would have been the end of the night for me. I think I got up to third for a little bit. And uh, just after the restarts, I was pew, stick of forks and butter knife in a guy. I'm done. I uh, went over and apologized to Drew sincerely. Came in a little too tight on that corner and bumped him. I just mashed on the brakes and I keep forgetting that since the rear end's blown out, there's oil all over the shoes. I only got front brakes and they weren't really there and that's not an excuse. I shouldn't have come in too hard or as hard as I did. I bumped him too hard. Got him a little loose, slowed us both way down. He might have could got fourth. I might have could got six. I don't know, but... Uh, we're good. We apologize. He said he was having a blast. Wasn't worried about it. Uh, what a what a weekend. Not bad for just showing up in an old Ranger and putting some tires on it and having fun. Am I going to do it next year? I don't know. You guys let me know. You guys want to see more of this Danger Ranger stuff? Bleep bloop it down there in the comments. Uncle Chet needs an ligament. Something here in the front. I don't, I don't know if you could see it. There's a dent over here and uh, I don't know might have a flat tire or something JH's truck kept her pretty clean I'm not sure what happened to Jack stand I didn't really see him much I don't know if he had mechanical issues the truck looks pretty good this fella right here with the beautiful hair yeah you gotta love my hair he uh, took a tumble I guess you rumbled with Uncle Chet huh that's a nice seat you got no radio though. You're feeling good though? Yeah, I'm good. I said it was more like a ride. I strapped the seat, literally just strapped, and I was just, just, I was actually trying to get back on the road to race again. I was holding the throttle as soon as I hit that ground. I was just gonna keep going, but. Yeah. I, they one guy told me to stop. I looked over, I'm like, oh shoot, this is really bad actually. <laughs> Would and you do it again? I'll do it again. Awesome. Good seeing Always. you, man. Thanks, Take care. Man. man, there is some carnage out here. Oof. I don't know, brake line or something? Oh, oh, yeah, looks yeah. pretty beat up. This is a sweet truck. Got a lot of fun running with this guy. Look at that, it looks like a Jaws. Jaws hit the door or something over here. Split that thing wide open. Whoopsie. Twin turbo? Yeah. Twin <laughs> turbo. Sweet. I like that color blue. It's a 1776 machine. Ain't got a scratch on her. I think this is when I got into Drew, but that'll buff out, I think. Ramp truck's all loaded up. We're leaving right now. We got 800 miles back home in that 80 ramp truck. I got to get right back to filming revivals for you guys. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it very much. Have a good one.